First of all, Kale Brook looked amazing. No one expected him to destroy JoJo Dan like that. Jeez. JoJo Dan looked like a kid in the ring with Kale Brook. Kale's too powerful for him. We already know what's going to happen if he fights Amir Khan. Khan to have his face replaced. And we all know one shot, and he's on rubber band legs. And he knows it too. He has no confidence. He's trying to find a way to wiggle out of that. So, we'll see. I won't hold my breath to see uh, Amir Khan take the fight. Um, the fight tonight, uh, Vonis got robbed. Uh, he clearly won the fight. I, I was disappointed in Charlo. I thought he would uh, would at least step it up more. You know, at some points of the fights he did, you know, do some great boxing work. But he was lazy with his jab. He he wouldn't jab and commit to it all the time. He was letting Vonis basically steal the rounds from him. Um, again, uh, Vonis won that fight, clearly. It was a good boxing match, though. Good chess match early on. In the main event, I mean, Gary Russell was just being first and being Gary Russell. Power with speed and throwing shorter punches, and it, and it paid off. I thought Johnny would uh, would catch Gary because based off Gary's last fight, I didn't think he can come back to being Gary Russell Jr. Maybe that strength and conditioning coach was the difference, but he was back tonight. Because I was like, oh, okay, there's Gary Russell Jr. Because... That wasn't Gary Russell we saw the last time. So, I don't know. Maybe he got something. You know, maybe we just don't need strength and conditioning coaches in boxing. Hey.